The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. With me, and it doesn't matter where me is as long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So we've got the Fed. They're out. Uh, let's uh, update all this stuff because I know it's moving fast. Plus 14, so we've had our low. Uh, looks like um, we'll see. Generally, these markets like to back and fill a little bit, but uh, we shall see. Of course, uh, the Fed is going to have a, me uh, a uh, press uh, meeting at 2:30 uh, with uh, Chairman Powell. That runs till about 3:15 Eastern, and anything can happen. I don't want to get too far out over the tips of my skis. Lest I turn into that uh, skier on the wide world of sports who felt the agony of defeat and a lot of other agony probably because he got beat up on that. But uh, that was it. Um, you know, we'll keep an eye on it. We, I, I know that the TLT had a big uh, move. Um, so we'll see. As we go forward, 150.25 on that. Um, and maybe not as big as uh, I thought from looking at the other bonds. But anyway, had kind of a bit of a move. Now, uh, it makes me think of uh, World War II. I'm a, a big player of the submarine simulators, war game simulators. And... A lot of people did not. You know, they watched the movies of uh, the destroyers dropping depth charges on the hapless Germans uh, down below, getting all rattled. But uh, the reality is when one of those went off, it was like dro dropping a giant fizzy in the, uh, in the uh, pool, uh, a la, what is it? Uh, eh, what am I thinking about? All the fizzies in the pool? Maybe... Eh, I'll think of it. Maybe it was fizzies in the uh, in the uh, in the pond. Maybe it was in the fountain. I think it was fizzies in the fountain uh, in Animal House. Uh, anyway, I do digress. Pop rocks. Yeah, there were a lot of different stuff back in there. Anyway, um, it took about two minutes after the depth charge went off before they could hear anything on the uh, sonar again it was basically useless so they go drop you know three five ten of the things real quick and then they'd have to wait two minutes in that two minutes if they hadn't gotten the submarine he could move anywhere he wanted and of course they're not moving very fast but uh, they could go as fast as they could go and the destroyers wouldn't hear them at all uh, for about two minutes and then uh, all the bubbles and fizzies came up to the top and dead fish Man, when, you know, talk about fishing. If you had uh, one of those destroyers, I don't think uh, anybody would be talking to you about sticks of dynamite in a pond. Anyway, uh, giant uh, giant time. It just takes a little while to settle. So I don't want to get too far, like I said, out over the tips of my skis. But uh, as yesterday I said, in fact, I think we've got an email already. Nice call on finding a low today. Uh, somewhere between uh, 11 and 1. Is that what I said? Then maybe 10:30 and 1. Anyway, I, you can find some some of those things, but uh, at least for the uh, for the short term, we probably have some kind of lows. I suspect that they're going to try to drive the market up to 4,700 on uh, on uh, Friday's expiration. What I would love to see is some kind of pullback. Uh, over the next couple of days, the best rips that you ever get in the market is in a down week on options expiration where everybody comes in short on Friday morning only to see the whole thing turn. And I've made some uh, I've made some uh, 
uh, brand new cars and some other things on those Fridays. We haven't had any in a long time, but it generally, if you got a down week and you come into Friday, everybody's bearish. For some reason, they're going to turn that market around. I'm going to turn that frown upside down. I'm going to keep people moving. 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com. Tomorrow we've got uh, Tim Ord. So if you have any questions for Tim, make sure that you email them to me today. Uh, that is path at tfnn.com, and I'll forward them to him so he knows what to talk about. Like I said, he's not uh, he's not a fast trader. A lot of times it takes him two, three, four weeks, maybe months to get into a trade. So he's not in the hurry of hurrying, uh, habit of hurrying up, which uh, we need to give him a little time to get all his ducks in a row. Anyway, he'll be on tomorrow at uh, 2.15. And uh, that will be it for the year. No more will he be on this year. So just remember that. So you got your chance to get in front of it today. Anyway, as I said, uh, yeah, could we do nothing, kind of go sideways, get everybody all bearish into Friday? That's what I'm hoping for. Um, I mean, there was some other stuff that I was hoping for, but eh, didn't quite happen. I didn't quite get there. Uh, as uh, I forget who the, the quote is from, but uh, it's about war, and that is no, uh, no plan survives uh, contact with the enemy. And uh, I had pretty much what I thought was going to happen in a stock um and uh well it did it <laughs> but uh i didn't get down there i thought amd this morning i was telling everybody that i wanted to buy 135 calls and i thought it would get down to 132.50 i know a couple people went ahead and bit as it started heading higher and they're doing fine but that was one of the most heavily shorted stocks I also sent out a uh, update, uh, which probably should be out in a few minutes, with all the most shorted stocks. That's generally where I look going into Christmas. Uh, no negative waves. It's Christmas. Uh, as gold and GDX bottom, I don't. I don't. They may have bottom. I don't think they're going up. Maybe that's. Uh, maybe that's the difference. I think a lot of stuff that's flat now is going to be flat through the end of the year and bore everybody to death. That's generally the way things work. 877-927-6648. Uh, we'll take a look at the volume. It's almost always light. Uh, to, 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 yeah, 6.3 billion shares. And a question from uh, Ronald who asks, uh, how did I know the low would come in about here? Well, how many Fed meetings have we been through? It seems like whatever they do on Tuesday afternoon, up or down, the Wednesday, right after the open, uh, all the retail traders try to do something. The market seems to fade with low volume, uh, no buyers, not a lot of sellers, but it just seems to fade. Then you always get right back into the Fed and they try to front run it. Going into uh, what's going on. Uh, eh, is there a big move here? No. But uh, with everybody shorting uh, AMD, I thought uh, that was the best bet of the day. We'll be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we come back, uh, waited with bated breath. I put a worm on my tongue, waiting for Mr. Fed Chairman to come out here uh, in 11 or 12 minutes. But in the meantime, uh, it's a lot of hurry up and wait. But I think a lot of people got short over the last couple of days. I would have liked to see more shorts, but uh, eh, pretty much what uh, you should expect. There wasn't a huge move. A couple of stocks, but uh, keep a close eye on the TLT as we do history. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1995, developed by researchers at Digital Equipment, the AltaVista search engine is launched. It was the first wild, uh, worldwide web search service to gain significant popularity. One of the most popular search engines in the early wor World Wide Web. Google didn't overtake AltaVista until 2021, uh, or 2001, he said. AltaVista was eventually purchased by Yahoo in 2003 for their search. Of course, uh, Google really had the, uh, the idea uh, that was a little outside of the box uh, to reinforce what people actually eventually clicked on. Uh, it was called the page rank. Most people would think, ah, oh, it's a web page. So that's it. No, it's for Larry Page. He came up with the theorem uh, at uh, Stanford University. His uh, professor uh, was the first investor with $100,000. I think that eventually made him a billionaire. But uh, sometimes just the smallest uh, of ideas done correctly are all you ever need. But uh, Google, always the uh, always the best search engine for a long time. Now used for evil over most of the world. 877-927-6648. Uh, yeah, there was a little bit of that. Uh, open intro I'll put for three to one. Uh, yeah, fastest. Well, that's another one. That's that's uh, Mark Zuckerberg's uh, reign of evil over at Facebook, or as I like to call it, Metamucil now. 
Okay, uh, let's go ahead and start looking at some of these stocks and how uh, they have reacted. Uh, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I didn't get a good chance to read it. They were, they were going to taper a little more, and they tapered a little less. I think that is that. Am I reading between the lines? Of course, I've got to do this while I'm juggling chainsaws on the air, but I have a feeling that's kind of it. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. Uh, Adobe's just retesting on very light volume here today. So that looks like that could make a decent low today. Get one more. Let's go to the big guys that make up really all the indexes now. Uh, Microsoft uh, Doji out here in this dip. Uh, very nice. The downside is not a clear signal. You've got a doji on light volume. That is either the halfway on the move down or a bottom. So you really won't know about that one tomorrow. Let's take a quick look at Amazon. This one had a little spike lower. It's right at support at 3,300. It got to 3,303, today. Again, on light, almost everything on lighter volume today. So it does set up some charts that would look okay. Uh, see, it looks like we're up 17 on the S&P. But again, like I said, I would, I would love to see is premiums just dissipate all the way into Friday morning. Everybody kind of gets short on Thursday and then have a rip. Uh, your face-off rally on Friday, maybe back up to 4,700 on the S&P cash. But at the moment, I don't think that there's a lot there to go chasing or tilting at windmills. Uh, okay, see what else we have here in the email stack. Okay. Tesla, any change in your opinion on this? Uh, no, not really. You're back at support. Uh, you're going to have light volume. Uh, these people will buy it. If they claim bankruptcy today, they'd buy it and say it was worth $5,000. So you always have to be worried of the crazies, and especially the bat crap crazy. But uh, certainly uh, you've got uh, yeah, some, I mean, on a short term or shorter term basis, uh, you are basing out at 950. I suspect you could get a bounce maybe the first part of the year. But it, I, I kind of think now that everybody's looking forward uh, to the dirty laundry coming out uh, on the books uh, on some various lawsuits in the springtime, probably in February. Everybody's uh, on the street, kind of in the know, know about the whole Solar City fia uh, fiasco. Uh, that was all swept under the rug until the lawsuits dragged it out. Tesla is going to be the last one to settle there, and they've done it. Um, well, you can't say Musk was stupid for selling. He uh, He's cashing in big. Uh, 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 yeah, okay. I hadn't looked at MasterCard or Visa in a while, and somebody just putting moving average in this in the thing showed it eh, coming down a little bit. Let's take a look at the Visa. See if there's anything different in this one. Yeah, almost the same. The gold field. Uh, what is Visa or MasterCard Visa, right? Okay, I've got to change that symbol. So let's do this. There we go. Um, yeah, almost the same chart. I don't see a lot here. But uh, I do want to move on. Um, okay. Take a look uh, for John at Workday. See if there's anything out of here. Yeah, like I said, if, you're, if you've been for sale... I don't think that there's a whole lot that's going to change unless somebody uh, decides to run a short squeeze on you. Uh, let's take a quick look and see if that. In fact, I just sent out 
an update uh, for past subscribers on the highly shorted stocks or most highly shorted stocks. Because I don't think that there's a lot to drive these things other up other than short squeezes through the end of the year. As volume decreases, uh, it becomes more problematic to hold shorts, uh, even if it's a good short. And generally, you want to cover and then come back. Um, sometimes the last couple of days before the new year and sometimes after the new year uh, to look at it. But I uh, eh. don't see a lot here in the way of short data. Then they do have four and a half days to cover. A little bit more, it's worrisome. I wouldn't be short, uh, but again, I don't think there's a whole lot of upside. We'll be back in. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an Apex Predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we return. Just like uh, MacArthur to the Philippines. And uh, we have somebody else returning, just like MacArthur to the Philippines, and that is John from Philly. How are you doing today, John? Yeah, I'm returning because uh, at least at this moment in time, I don't have my tail between my legs. Okay. Anyway, uh, so Dave, I wanted to ask you about the QQQs uh, and, and just something conceptual here. Uh, the uh, rally peaked 
occurred uh, Monday of Thanksgiving, Monday, then November 22nd. Um, thus far, the decline off those peaks, you know, uh, is inconclusive. You know, was that, was that November 22nd a major high or not? Of course, uh, there's no proof that it was at this point. But uh, we declined into uh, Friday the 3rd. Then last week, it was Monday, uh, Monday and Tuesday, the uh, 6th and the 7th, we had this face, you know, uh, rip your face off squeeze uh, on the 6th and the 7th. And then it went sideways Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, and then, of course, we fell sharply Monday, Tuesday this week, and, you know, now here we are. My, uh, so I just have this observation that possibly November 22nd, an important high atop of some uh, more important consequence, and the December 6th, 7th event, that's a rip your face off, feels very much like a short squeeze rally, gave it up fast. Uh, we're bouncing sharply just, you know, since uh, 11 o'clock, as you documented here. Is there anything in your work that suggests to you that, that uh, supports the case that the Qs, the NDX 100, the QQQs, and, uh, the, you know, the big components within have formed a major top and that uh, these sharp surges are just rip your face off short squeezes that give that are going to continue to give way to selling and very soon we'll get enough price weakness where we get to what I call the point of recognition, namely price declines enough that the crowd then says, holy cow, that was a top. I better start, you know, uh, cutting back on my longs. And, of course, that hasn't happened as of yet. Uh, so if it does happen, it's all conjecture, and only time will prove it one way or the other. But is there anything, when you look in your work, that suggests that outcome? Um, well, I'm kind of looking toward Friday. <laughs> so at the moment, I'm not that worried. I think that we're going to have a move into Friday. It'll probably be up, and then we'll probably be flat into the beginning of the year, and then... Uh, a lot more news will probably either fade away or come in. Um, so I'm not going to be a big fan of trying to trade what I think is going to be sideways action between now and the first of the year. But, uh, you know, right now when I looked at the cues uh, from uh, last night's options, um, you want to add generally uh, somewhere between 40 and 60 points on the S&P cash. Uh, because people will have be short uh, futures and other things like that. Uh, there will always be kind of a, a virtual short on the market for hedges. Uh, and that generally means that these big indexes don't expire uh, where X meets the spot. You want to add a little bit more to it. If you have a stock that doesn't have but about 5% short interest and you know a day and a half to cover, Generally, the X actually shows something pretty good. You've got to actually show on top here. Now, I don't know what the Fed's going to say in the next 45 minutes, probably 40 minutes now, uh, to change that. But as far as option market makers, their figure we're going to get at least a modest, if not a bigger bounce into Friday's close. And like I said earlier generally the way these things set up and i think we've talked about uh, a couple of these in the past over the last five ten years where you just get these big rallies on fridays after a downtrend in the market uh and everybody gets on one side of the boat um to me that would be probably where you're going to make money i don't think there's a whole lot of money to be made next week or the week after um maybe you know, a couple of days before New Year's, people start shorting the market again. Maybe they don't and leave a uh, pothole for everybody to drive into uh, when we come back on the 4th. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But right. I, I don't see a lot of reasons for uh, trying to predict that quite yet. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the Fed's going to do. And we'll know probably a little less 
the more he talks. Uh, but like I said, uh, when I'm looking at this, I'll see tonight uh, or probably really before uh, the end of the day. But when you really look at it, I'm kind of annotating this. I hope everybody can see it on the screen. Uh, maybe people in the den can show, say that you see my squiggly lines. Um, but you should l uh, look at somewhere, um, at least when you under, uh, underlook the, or underlook, when you uh, uh, look at the underlying, um, you want to take uh, about 384 as last night, add about 40 points in the S&P cash as a minimum, and maybe 60 points. And that's kind of the bottom of where these guys are looking. So um, X doesn't always mark the spot. But uh, we're, you know, we've been closing a little higher. Um, the more that they hammer this thing, the more they get everybody dis uh, despondent for Friday. I'm looking for a big bounce on Friday. David, I appreciate you just sharing your thoughts on that topic. Uh, much obliged on that, sir. If you can tell me what the Fed's going to say in the next 45 minutes, maybe I'll make a prediction. But, yeah, uh, no, they, <laughs> I'm never the one to ask on that. They, yeah, they never I, whisper like I said, in my ear. <laughs> yeah, like I said yesterday, Mr. Miyagi, best way, best way to avoid fight, not be there. Um, I know what a lot of people are going to do. I don't know what a few people are in the case of Powell won. Uh, he didn't even have to have everybody agree with him. He just has to shoot his mouth off about one way or the other, right? Right. And it doesn't right. have to be backed up, and you're out of the trade over the next couple of days. So I don't see a lot of reasons to get in front of the Fed until he's done talking. I would suspect when you're talking about uh, these uh, rallies being sold that we could get that tomorrow, and I would hope for that. I would hope that we just get really washed out on light volume uh, into Thursday's close, and we even open lower maybe a little bit on Friday only to see that stall out and then the rip uh, into the Christmas vacation. But uh, that's yeah, the best I, time. Uh, I concur. If for whatever reason they're selling into the close today that extends into tomorrow, uh, I have watched you over the years, and I'll just say this out loud for the benefit of all your listeners. I have seen you uh, numerous times over this past decade uh, be looking for those last-day uh, options set up. So, David, thanks so much. You bet. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, the Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Tail of the tape as the uh, as the Dow up 160 points, up 24 on the S and P. Um, crude oil up 28 cents, gold down 11. Uh, let's see what else we have out here. Ten-year bond up uh, eh, almost two cents. Uh, Bitcoin down or up 1,500 bucks. So we take a look at those. Uh, got a question about my call last week for the UVXY going up and hitting 17. Um, it kind of did that. didn't quite go there the way I thought it would. Uh, but it did finally get there. Uh, and that was probably, oh, I need to delete that, don't I? Okay, there we go. I... Uh, you had a fairly decent low. It wasn't on light volume. My guess is that, you know, we've got a little bit of a bounce out um, here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we got a little bit of a bounce, but that was about it. Um, more than likely, you're just going to see this deteriorate into the last couple of days of the year now. Uh, and watch volume pull out also just about the same. Um, okay, what else do we have? Um, that's about it. Okay. We can all go home now. Uh, let me find here. Okay. Uh, let me get the, get the few things situated on the screen here. Uh, da, 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 da. A uh, question last night that I answered last night um, was, do you think I'd want to be really long video games here? And there's a lot of problems in the video game industry. But uh, one of the ones that I talked about with the subscriber was uh, uh, actually the problem with all these guys building new games. They thought by now that everybody would have the latest video card. And, you know, the 3080 from NVIDIA retails 699 uh, The only way you can buy it is probably 1500 bucks, maybe more, um, until they start delivering more video cards or Bitcoin crashes. In fact, if Bitcoin crashed, went to like $20,000 in two days, drove everybody nuts, or maybe even $2,000 in two days, I figure eventually when it's going to do that one day. I don't know when. Uh, then you would want to look at uh, these video game co uh, companies because they've made everything for the latest, greatest video cards uh, because, uh, you know, it'll be out for a little while. Uh, people want to get it. But people want the latest, uh, shiniest, fastest video game that has the most features. And all those things depend on the latest versions of the cards from AMD and NVIDIA. And if you can't get them, 
And if, let's say you're, you know, you're a 16-year-old game player who works at McDonald's. You're saving up your cash to buy a $700 card. Suddenly, it's 15 or 1,800 bucks because the uh, Bitcoin miners are uh, running you out of business. They're paying people off. Uh, they're actually stealing entire vans filled with video cards. Uh, gives you an idea. Last time it was this bad, they were stealing entire vans full of Apple iPhones. I think that goes back eight years. Uh, it's a little easier to say you can't use a, uh, a Apple iPhone, but uh, they ended up getting distributed all over the uh, world. Um, almost impossible to say that with a video card. Uh, so anyway, problematic. If uh, you start seeing lots of video card ship, uh, crypto miners going down the tubes, that's probably the best thing you can see for these video cards. Because a lot of people don't want to buy the games if they're not going to perform on their computers and they need the latest, greatest, hottest video cards. And, you know, AMD may be doing well. Uh, NVIDIA may be doing well. But the, uh, the uh, small video game player... Uh, is seen inflation like you would never see before. Uh, anyway, you're up a little bit uh, on AMD today, but uh, probably running into resistance right about here. Um, but, uh, hey, what else? Uh, let's take a quick look at NVIDIA. And then on the SMHs. We're up 20 points on the S&P cash. Uh... NVIDIA, like I said, had probably an okay bottom. We were talking about this one yesterday. Went into the 115 million share low of the 4th of November, a day that I will remember because Papa was a rolling stone. Anyway, how many people remember that song? I bet not many. Uh, anyway, uh, to, to, to 115 million shares. It was 66 million shares yesterday. So you probably had a low. I suspect that this 3x3 uh, uh, three three moving average is going to be resistance as we go forward. So, you know, maybe we get a couple of days into next week, and then it just goes and settles around, you know, 280 or something. Uh, maybe news changes. I actually read a couple articles that said things are getting much better in Silicon uh, Valley in uh, Taiwan. Uh, but uh, hard to tell if it's true or not. Um, it, of course, it means a lot depending on which business you're in. If you're Apple, you can afford to throw money at the problem, which uh, always uh, makes me want to play this. Are you suggesting we throw money at the problem? Precisely. Well, Apple can because their devices sell for 1500 bucks. And they're making 65, 70% margin, except when they sell some attachments like the earbuds, where they're making 100, 120% margins. Uh, they want to sell a lot of earbuds this Christmas. Uh, even if revenues are good, they want to make money, and that's in those earbuds. But, okay, uh, anyway, NVIDIA, probably the best looking of the bunch. Uh, my guess is it doesn't do a whole lot, though. Um, you know, as far as massive spikes until the beginning of the year, although it is one of the most uh, hated stocks over the last couple of days. 877-927-6648. You can email me at path at tfnn.com. And let's see what else do we have out here. A uh, question about MUX. Um, I think I brought this up a week or two ago, maybe longer, and why I didn't buy it. And uh, that was uh, that uh, why this thing had like an eight-day uh, short at over a buck. Uh, they all covered. Um, and so you don't have the same amount of shorts in McEwen Mining that you had for about a year and a half. Uh, we got one good spike up to that buck 60 range. And I thought we might 160, 170 range. And I thought maybe we'd get one more for a triple top. Uh, so I'd hung around it there, didn't really lose any money, played it around 110, got out of it around 10 a couple of times. Never really got up there, and everybody, the shorts just kept leaping. Uh, I wanted to squeeze a biblical proportion. And get back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. playing with a new toy here so give me just a minute here anyway uh up 24 on the s p cash as i said i would love to see maybe uh this bounce sold back off a little bit um do think that we are probably gonna they are gonna push this thing up to 4700 for friday how that comes in it could be a tale of two cities but uh, i'm looking for that kind of just uh Nice big uh, rally for Friday. Maybe it starts off horrible and turns around. It, very rare that we're going to see any kind of massive damage in Christmas. Very rare you see massive damage during options expiration. And I'm starting to see enough people go short on some stuff. I would have liked to see more. But, you know, as we go into next week, the old saying is do not be short a quiet market. And I suspect next week, uh, after Monday, maybe Tuesday, it's going to be incredibly quiet and probably going to be quiet until we get back into the middle of next week. So there won't be a whole lot going on. Uh, what else do we have that we wanted to look at before? Somebody wants to look at Apple before we go. Of course, uh, always got to look at the Apple. Um, no, it hasn't really broken below the three by three. It's still riding it. So as far as it did pierce it today, um, which makes me think that the indexes could hold up for a handful more days. 
Um, you know, we have had selling in from between Christmas and New Year's before, but uh, not a lot the week before Christmas. It takes something special. So, you know, maybe we don't go higher, but I don't think there's a whole lot lower this week. Uh, tomorrow, we've got Tim Ord on. Uh, get your questions to me at path at tfnn.com. I'll forward them to uh, Tim, and we'll get to it all lined up for a really great show tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, sell when you can. Also, cover your shorts when you can. And we'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time.